We are going to try to do this this way. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Eva. Say good morning, Eva. Good morning, Eva. Okay. Hi. So today, we are going to comment on the gospel from St. Matthew. Okay. Um, today's Tuesday, March 26. Okay. March 26. So, Eva, you need to behave, okay? So we can do this. Now, this gospel is about the servants who, well, one servant who owed a king a large amount of money, okay, and the king forgave his debt. Now, that same servant was owed money too by another fellow servant, and servant number one didn't want to forgive the debt of servant number two. Okay, and instead of being understanding and being patient with servant number two, servant number one ended up, you know, uh, um, what did he do? He put him to prison. Okay, he put him to prison until he uh, paid his debt. So, and then when the king heard about that, he got mad at servant number one because he said, I forgave you all your debt. How dare you not forgive? Your fellow servant okay so this gospel today is oh, teaches us about the lesson of forgiveness okay that as we ask in the our father forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us so in the our father we ask our lord to forgive us our sins in the manner we also forgive others. So it seems to be the condition, right? It seems to be a condition which we are voluntarily telling God, please forgive us the way we forgive our own uh, brethren. So in other words, it's like uh, if we don't forgive other people, well, how can we dare ask God to forgive us? And how will God forgive us if we ourselves are unable to forgive others? So forgiveness is always two ways, right? Because we are not perfect. We ourselves commit infractions. We commit sin. We, we uh, violate uh, the commandments of God. We violate other people. Okay? Um, and because of our natural imperfections, we ourselves are in need of plenty of forgiveness from others and from God. But for us to obtain that forgiveness, we have to first learn how to forgive others. So you know the golden rule? Now what's the golden rule again? Yeah, Mia? Huh? What? Joe, stop monkeying around. What's the golden rule? Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Right? But I have a different rule. I have a different rule. Do unto others what you want God to do unto you. Okay? Do unto others what you want God to do unto you. Meaning, if you want God to forgive you, for your sins, learn how to forgive other people. Learn how to forgive. And what is the key to learning how to forgive? What is the key to learning forgiveness? We have the we have the we have the clue from the gospel here. The servants ask, "Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full." Both of the servants said that. Servant number one pleaded with the king, be patient with me. The king had patience on him, forgave his debt. That same servant okay, had a fellow servant who owed him money. Servant number two asked for the same thing. Be patient with me and I will pay you in full. But servant number one didn't have patience. And instead punished servant number two for not paying his debt so not good right so what is the key 
patience is the key in the same manner that God is so patient with our own uh, incorrigibility. God is, is patient with our own shortcomings. God is patient with our own mistakes, with our own sins. We keep doing the same things over and over. It's hard for us to overcome our defects, but God is patient with us. Well, we should extend the same patience to everybody else. Eh? Extend the same patience. And you know what? Here's the second key. Humility. We have to be humble enough to realize that we are not perfect. That we also have defects. That we also commit mistakes. That we also sin against God and against others. So if we are humble enough to realize that we are not perfect and we too commit mistakes, then that humility should allow us to have patience on the shortcomings of other people. And then it should drive us to forgive them their faults, forgive them their mistakes. And you know what? That act of forgiveness is also an act of charity. It's also an act of charity, especially if people are asking you for forgiveness. You know how difficult that is? When, when, when you have offended somebody and you're asking forgiveness from that person and that person doesn't want to forgive you. Oh, that's a very agonizing situation. That because the person who's asking for forgiveness okay, is suffering. Is suffering deep inside of him. Because he realized that he had offended you. And, and because he had offended you, he wants to make up for it. And he wants to ask you first for forgiveness. So that he can be given the avenue to make up for his wrongdoing. But if you don't forgive him, that person continues to suffer. Not only for the wrong that he did, but also moreover... From the fact that you that he's not being forgiven. See? That is a very, very difficult and agonizing situation. When a person is not being forgiven. So out of charity, out of charity towards that person who's asking you for forgiveness, you should be ready to forgive. It is a big, big act of charity, a big love act of love for neighbor. In the same way that God's mercy for us. When we ask God pardon for our sins, it's also an act of God's love for us. That is a manifestation of God's love, of God's mercy. Okay, So let us try all the time to be quick in forgiving. Let us learn to forgive others their mistakes. Do unto others what you would want God to do unto you. Okay? Okie dokie. Ah, 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 not yet. I haven't said goodbye, Mia. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow, hopefully. Hey, Tita Anne is on the call. Hi, Tita Anne. We can continue chatting after this, uh, after this uh, broadcast. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Say hi to Tita Anne. Say hi. Okay. Say hi. Let's see. Let's put it. Hey, hi, Tita Anne. Where's everybody? Hi. <laughs> Oh, see you there. Okay, there you go. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.